Although this memorial behind me continues to grow for the late after his dad telling me he's still expecting his son to just walk through the door as the family begins to deal with their heartbreak. You know, as a father, that's a fear you always have that one of your children will go before you. Paul Walker III cherishes his last conversation with son Paul, a visit that turned out to be the last when the two had lunch over laughs here at his favorite neighborhood stop. I made it a point every time I saw him or my children was to hug them and kiss them and tell them his every other sentence if I could, you know, I love you. The actor who skyrocketed to fame with the Fast and Furious franchise died Saturday in a deadly car accident. Walker and his friend Roger Rodas, who was driving this red Porsche Carrera, had just left Walker's Santa Clarita charity event when investigators say the sports car slammed into a light pole and erupted into flames. Walker's dad described going numb upon hearing the news from his brother. Paul's been killed. So in those times, you literally like freeze. Detectives haven't confirmed if drag racing may have played a role in the tragedy, but officials say, based on some of the evidence from the crime scene, speed was definitely a factor. While the world knew Paul Walker as one of Hollywood's brightest stars, his family says he actually wanted a break from the business. That loved people. Honestly loved people. The business, he never cared for this business. It just happened. And many, many times he wanted to quit. Walker's father and siblings are working on funeral arrangements now with one of the actor's co-stars and closest friends, Tyrese, among many mourning the loss of a young life snatched in an instant. And the bodies were so badly burned, coroners are trying to obtain dental records just so they can identify the victims. No timeline yet on that autopsy. It could be performed as early as tomorrow, but officials say more likely later this week.